What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today I'm going to be checking out a cooler that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a long time and I've decided to take the plunge and get one. Uh, it's Noctua NHD15. You've probably seen loads of videos about this already if you're looking into this kind of thing. Um, but I want to do my own videos for it uh, and I'm going to get a series going soon to basically testing every cooler I've got and this is going to be sort of the benchmark to test them against. Um, so today I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and talk about the specs of it and show you what it looks like. And then following up from that, I'm actually going to be testing this um, to get my baseline for my future videos. Um, and then everything's going to be tested and pitted against this. Um, so let's get it unboxed, have a look at it, and then um, stick around for the following video that's going to come up uh, later this week, hopefully, um, of me testing this and seeing basically what all the fuss is about and why it's so good. So the Noctua NHD15, um, I've got the Chromax black version, obviously it's available in the standard version which is the usual brown colours, um, I personally am not a fan of the brown colours, um, so I've decided to get the Chromax black version, it's a little bit more expensive, um, but I personally think it looks absolutely incredible, um, so it is a, a very well known cooler, um, a lot of people have done videos about this, um, so we're going to take you over a quick look at the box, see what what it's about um, and then we're going to sort of unbox it and have a look um, so nice big picture of it on the front it's chromax black and um, it's also you can get like covers to go over the top of it for different colors and stuff like that um, award-winning cooler there is a new one coming uh, probably later this year or next year i think it is um, so hopefully i'll get one of those eventually uh, and you've got dual nf a15 chromax black fans on this um, so plenty of airflow to go through this uh, and those fans are supposed to be absolutely amazing uses so the secure firm secufirm 2 multi-socket mounting system um, again we'll look at that when we come to install it and it's six heat pipes on this quick look at the specifications um, so your dimensions are 165 by 150 by 161 so obviously check that if you want to know if it's going to fit in your case because um, it is a very big cooler um, with the fans it weighs 1.3 kilos so it's quite a heavy cooler as well and obviously it's copper with aluminium fins and it's nickel plated um, support of this is pretty much everything am4 am5 lga 1700 and all the previous uh, lga versions um, it doesn't support um thread ripper though as far as i'm aware it doesn't say on air so i assume it doesn't um and you get obviously the heat sink two fans you get a low noise adapter so you can plug that in basically reduces the fan speed it's pwm uh, you get a thermal compound with it as well and then the fans themselves are 140 by 150 by 25 um with an sso2 bearing again pwm like i said with a max uh, speed of 1500 and a max airflow of 140.2 meters cubed and then the mass, max acoustic levels are 24.6 db um, so we'll check that as well obviously um, and that's really all there's to tell you about that so first of all it comes with a big accessory pack all in its own box which is really nice really nicely packaged and really well done it's very uh, professional looking and you get everything you need in here you get a little instruction manual of how to install it you get all your fittings and accessories there and um, you get a little case badge thermal compound, low noise adapter and clips for your fans, uh, basically everything you need to install it. I won't go through all of that, again that will be done in a previous uh, in a following video. And then the fans come packaged separately as well, again it's just all really really nicely packaged. Um, it just screams quality to be fair. This is the NFA15 fan that comes with it, you get obviously two of these. Um, vibration mounts on all these corners, your mounting points are here for um, basically mounting it to the cooler obviously it's a seven blade fan really really well built really good quality feels absolutely solid no hub wobble in that at all it looks absolutely awesome like i say it's a standard pwm connection as you would expect and let's take a look at the cooler itself as you can see it's an absolute beast absolutely huge um, and <laughs> weighs so so much like i say it's over a kilo with with the fans installed and just under a kilo without them um you get one of the fans is already pre-installed that will need to come off to mount it because these screws under here um like i say six heat pipes all the way across there you've got this sort of step in for clearance for ram so it shouldn't be too much of a problem with clearance and it's pretty much uh well yeah it's symmetrical um so it's the same on both sides so obviously you can mount it either way it doesn't really matter but um as it's set up it should be mounted that way really because you've got your noctua symbols on the top there um that obviously you want facing the right way 
and it's just it feels absolutely quality um i'm starting to see why these are expensive um, because the the manufacturer is absolutely amazing like i say it looks awesome in, in complete black and then you've got your cold plate at the bottom here which doesn't have pre-applied thermal paste um, but you don't need that you get some with it um, and obviously that's nickel plated copper and then again there's a pwm uh, fan connection for that there and it uses standard spring clips which i don't like but all, lots of fans uh, use those uh, lots of coolers use those anyway so it's uh, not a problem um but yeah, um, so technically you could put any fan on this you want. You just use that standard 140 fan will go on this. Um, but these fans here uh, should do the business. It's hard for me to show you, <laughs> to tell you just how quality this feels um, just by looking at it on the camera. Um, but the feels of it, is it's an absolute chunk. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I can't wait to get this installed. So that's all there is really to this video, guys. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of this um, and show you what it looks like and what you get with it. Um, and like I say, we'll be doing a follow-up video soon uh, where I'll actually be testing this. Um, and then following that, we're going to be doing lots of cooler testing. Um, and this is going to be basically the benchmark for everything to try and get to or beat if possible. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I um, hope this gives you an insight as to what it looks like. Um, like I say, the other one's just silver with brown fans on it. Um, but this is the Chromax black version. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like if you did like this video and to leave any comments in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to uh, put that bell icon on so you can be notified when the other video goes live for this uh, and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>